Hello, my name is Jerry Bent with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to use the Export to CSV feature in the CMS Supervisor Web Reports. For this demo, I have logged into a lab CMS system with the CMS Supervisor Web interface. I've also brought up a historical system daily report for February 1st. I will use this report to demonstrate the export to CSV feature, but it would work the same for any other historical or real-time report you executed. The export to CSV button at the top of the page allows you to export the report data into a CSV format, which is a comma delimited text file on your PC. This file can then be imported into other applications, the most common being Microsoft Excel. To create the CSV file, click on the Export to CSV button. The Select Location dialog box will appear. Select a folder to save the file in. I am going to put the file in my temp folder. Then type in a file name. I'm going to name this file daily summary feb1.csv. Using the .csv extension will help when importing the file into Excel. Then click on the Save button. This will save the report data to that file name. Now I will use Windows Explorer to verify the file was created and saved. I have my C drive open. I will double click to go into my temp directory. The daily summary file does show up in this directory. Now I will open the file and view the data using WordPad. The column headings and report data show up as a series of comma delimited fields in the file. Now I will close WordPad and then demonstrate how to import the file into an Excel spreadsheet. First, I will bring up the Microsoft Excel application. Then I will open the temp directory. I will need to change the files of type field to text files to see files with the .csv extension. If you did not give the file a .csv extension, then use all files as the type. Now you can see that the report file shows up in the list. Double click the file name. Then you will see that the report data is imported into the spreadsheet columns and rows. The tab name at the bottom will reflect the original file name. Now you can format this spreadsheet to change column widths and so forth, and you can save the file as an Excel format. This concludes the demonstration on using the Export to CSV feature. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor or on Twitter at AvayaMentor.